It's time to search for help on Google in a new way. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Google is launching a new video service called Help Outs. It connects people with experts that can provide assistance with various topics like fitness, cooking, music, computers, or other education. And it's all done through the Google Plus Hangouts video chat service. These Help Outs experts can offer advice for free or they might charge per minute or per session. Users can sort through a list of experts based on their qualifications, availability, reviews and ratings. And like Hangouts, the video chat can be accessed from a tablet or smartphone. One company that could use some expert help right now is BlackBerry. The struggling company couldn't find a buyer to go private, and yet it's still afloat after receiving a $1 billion investment. But with that deal, the CEO, Thorsten Hines, has stepped down. BlackBerry is holding on to some hope. The new BlackBerry Z30, which is the company's top smartphone, it's set to arrive on Verizon later this month. It's a good phone, but it's likely not enough to bring back customers who moved on to other systems. Netflix has won several Emmys for its original television series, but now it seems Netflix has its sights set on the Oscars because it's releasing original films and documentaries, and the first film is already making Oscar buzz. It's a documentary called The Square. It's about the Egyptian revolution through the eyes of young activists. It'll be available on the service early next year. And Amazon Prime Instant Video is catching up to Netflix with a few original shows of its own. The first original TV series for Amazon is a comedy called Alpha House, starring John Goodman. And it'll air next week, followed by another comedy called Betas. Looking ahead, there are some gadgets that will be revealed soon. Motorola will unveil a new smartphone next week on November 13th called the Moto G, and it's believed to be a low-cost version of the Moto X, shown here. Samsung is revealing a soft pink version of the Galaxy Note 3 to U.S. stores next week on Monday, and that's according to a listing on the website Newegg. It's not yet known, though, if any of the major U.S. carriers will offer the pink Note 3 at a lower price with a new contract. And Nintendo will be releasing a smaller version of the original Wii to the United States on November 17th. It's called the Wii Mini, and for $100, this red system comes with Mario Kart Wii and a matching red Wii controller and nunchuck. It lacks Wi-Fi and GameCube support. It's basically just a cheap way to play older Wii games. That's your tech news update, but you can find more details on the show blog, cnet.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.